everybody. This is a Suffolk wet shaver and uh, welcome to my channel. I just applied some um, PAA ATG against the grain pre-shave soap to my face, soften up my beard a bit. For soap today I'm using a sample of Xpec Original from um, ShaveDash.com and uh, blade I'm using today is uh, Treat. I think somebody on the UK Wet Shaving Society yesterday called them Black Beauties. A uh, good uh, blade for me. I've uh, already whipped up my soap and uh, brush I'm using today is the Satin Tip The Purist. Um, with the, the white fibre knot. Um, and the razor I'm using is it's an Edward Jagger head with a Windrose, um, it's called a H3 handle. I bought this off um, eBay for $11.99 plus a pound delivery. Because um, I just want a bit more grip than the um, the Edwin Jagger handle. This is the 86, and the handles are just you don't get no grip on it unless you use um, some Allen block to give you that grip. And that's the little Windrose. I guess that's a dial, of sun dial or something on there. Right, so let's get cracking them. As I said, I've made up the lather wrap ready. And here we go. I whip up my uh, lather in a plastic salsa bowl that you can get from Tesco's for, I think it's a pound for about four various colours. So, uh, who's seen the um, Paul H video today? The uh, Lord Ship Shave. I said ship, not the other. Yeah, if you're looking for samples for soaps, go over to. Um, shavedash.com we've got um, soaps, blades pretty much whatever you're looking for there I think the guy who runs I can't remember his name is, sorry um, he's on one of the Facebook groups I think he's in, actually in the uh, UK Wet Shame Society um, group It will tidy up first. Sorry if I'm not looking directly at you when I'm, <laughs> I'm recording on an iPod Touch. So here we go. First pass. Good feedback. So it's pretty cool here today. Um, it's about eight degrees. Uh, we had some 
hailstones earlier. And then we have blue skies. And now it's just overcast. I hope you're all having a nice weekend anyway. So a few facts for you from uh, my uh, county of Suffolk. Um, three facts for you. Um, Ed Sheeran who's in the charts at the moment. Um, he was originally born in Hebden Bridge, uh, a market town in Calderdale, near Halifax, West Yorkshire. Um, and as he grew up as a child, his um, parents moved to Framlingham in Suffolk, which is about half an hour from where I am. Good feedback from this razor. Um, the Darkness rock, rock band. Um, they started in '99, and they originate from um, Lowestoft in Suffolk, which is um, about an hour and a quarter from where I am. Sorry, I keep looking down because I've got notes along the bottom here just to, so I don't forget. Just going to give you a pre-warning. I'm going to rinse the water out now and get some fresh. Third and final fact for you today, um, back in um, 2006, a guy called Steve Wright, not the uh, Radio 2 GJ, um, uh, between the 30th, 30th of October and the 10th of December in 2006, he um, killed five uh, working girls. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's a bit like um, Jack the Ripper for our area um, of Ipswich, or just outside of Ipswich it was, or well, in and around Ipswich. Um, he was fin finally caught towards the end of December of 2006. Um, so he is currently serving a sentence of life and the judge did say that he would never, never, ever get out.
You may have seen it in the news, you might not have done, you might be able to find it on, um, on the internet, and read up about it. Getting a good lather from this uh, soap. I wouldn't say it's one of my favourite scents, but it's, yeah, it's sort of a cologne I think the um, Big No Shaver said that it was, um, don't quote me on this, but I think he said it was a Pacaraban smell that you've reminded him of. So, uh, I've never smelt it, so. Yeah, the Paul H film today um, on YouTube was, was funny. I don't know how he kept a straight face, it's hilarious. What I do, I do a pass that way and I wet, wet that area again and go back the other way. That's what I like about wet shaving because it doesn't matter who you are, you know, you, you've got you've your own routine. Now you might watch a load of YouTube videos like I do and pick up tips and hints from other people. I like to stretch. And again with that area. Once I've done here, I've got um, a load of YouTube videos to watch um, from the uh, Big Shave West um, from Pasadena. Um, so yeah, and I'm wearing, if you can see it, the uh, So Sharp Limited. This is one of the t-shirts from last year, 2015. And the hair around the goatee area is uh, quite a lot thicker than the rest of my face. So. Trying different different angles try and catch the last little bit
and try and shave every other day just to give my skin time to recover. try and get close to BBS. If, if I don't then it just doesn't really matter. Right, that's two passes. Just if anybody's interested in this um, this handle, it says on eBay, um, just type in Windrose handles. He's got various um, different styles, models, whatever you want to call it, a reasonable price. Right, third pass. I've heard that as uh, another tip on YouTube is to um, paint your larder against the grain so you get under under the hairs. More on the first two passes really obviously because there's more hair. But my my grown this way I think and then up the bottom it goes up and then on the sides it goes in. Seeing other shaves that just just distort their skin that way, or I like to get no, you've got another hand, so you might as well use it. Trouble area has always been here. If you're having problems with shaving along the jawline, either lift it up, shave it, and then drop it, and then you should 
could have should have got that along the jawline there. Otherwise, I kind of tilt my head to the side to try and flatten that out a little bit. So if I do it the same this side. It's a good blaze these trees, but I only managed to get about two, three shaves from it. I think it's getting a bit dry around here now, so I'll add some more. Maybe a touch of water. Doesn't have to be thick on the third pass. I think it's due to be, um, due to have it a little bit slicker, a little bit wetter. Now for the top lip I used to go um, like Paul H does, this way, but then I saw Kevy Shaves doing it in the opposite way and that tends to um, help me a little bit better. More comfortable anyway. And then gradually turn it as you cut in. Obviously, you keep wrenching your blade. Same as side. Normal places to for a touch up. Sorry, this video has gone on a bit long. It's my first one, really, so. It's
Just a little thin coat on the face. Try and get into the habit of reapplying soap. Don't um, shave your face when you've taken off the soap and not reapply it. Um, so that's where you'll get um, razor burn, rashes, all sorts. Which I've, I've just gone and done. <laughs> As you can hear, there's not much to not much to pick up. So. Right, that'll do for today. Rinse off again. Pat your face with a towel. shave today is firstly those witch hazel cucumber bought this um, recently from Amazon book a price I think it was about eight pounds um, I've got the lavender one as well but I think when I got that that was about 12 pounds 50 or something that was from Amazon too. Right, I'll do the uh, Steve Walker with the towel. Try it off a bit quicker. For a balm today, I'm using um, this is Ted Baker's uh, Ted's Grooming Room um, post shape balm. Say um, eucalyptus. So when you put it on, you get that cooling effect. Um, I've got the uh, the face scrub as well. Got it for Christmas in the set. I've got this, um, the balm, um, a puck of soap, a bore brush, which brilliant, any good, 
Um, I think that was it. Yeah. That's now no going on. M4. For now to shave. One EDT. I've got this, which is the um, Rolf Lauren uh, Polo Black. If you can see that. Yeah, and the reflection. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my shave today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like um, and subscribe. And hopefully there will be um, future videos. Um, yeah. Have a good day. Have a good rest of the weekend. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.